Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Webber and it's been a while since you've seen my face. Of course, I've been working on my Motorsport Manager series. Of course, a new episode will be out this Monday or whatever day this video comes out. But Monday, it'll be out. I'm currently recording this on Friday. So that's why there is a bit of a, a time confusion. Anyway, um, so we've got a new winner in the British Touring Car Championship. And then, of course, his name is George Gamble. He is a rookie this year in his first year of BTCC. But he's no stranger to the Toka package racing in Janetta Juniors, to the Janetta GT4 Super Cup and the Porsche Carrera Cup, winning races in all of his cap categories of course never won the championship but has been a race winner in now pretty much everything he's raced in of course he has been racing for the past few years due to i believe his impact with covid and of course multiple drivers being hindered um funding wise but of course george came back to racing this year and he has probably been one of the best rookies in the past four years of course I think the only the only other rookies I can think of who have had this big of an impact is Ash Sutton, who of course is now a three-time champion, and Dan Kamish, who is a three-time Porsche champion, uh, but also uh, one of the one of the big names in BTCC, of course. Twenty nineteen probably should have been the touring car champion, but yep, let's not talk about that. Um, so. Why have I titled this video the way I've titled it? Well, it pretty much explains it's self-explanatory. I think George Gamble is a future BTCC champion, and I think we should delve into why I think that. First of all, he's been brilliant. He's been a phenomenal racing driver this year. Of course, go back all the way back to April, I think it was, at the first round of Donington Park. He qualified P5 on debut. Last driver to qualify P5 on their debut was, of course, Ash Sutton. Um, so, yeah, a phenomenal debut straight up in qualifying. And then in his second ever BTCC race, he achieved P3, his first ever podium just behind um, Gordon Shedd and, and Tom Ingram two of the biggest names in the sport at the minute and yeah i mean a phenomenal a phenomenal rookie rookie weekend a phenomenal first weekend to btcc and while since then he sort of dropped back he has been very consistent um of course he hasn't been fighting for podiums in the past few rounds um but i'm sure we can add rookie tax to that of course, as we know, at Thruxton, Adam Morgan achieved the race win. So the car he was in, the BMW, capable of race wins. And I feel like it was going to be just a matter of time and a matter of when George was going to get that win rather than if. Because I said at the start of the season that George, out of the four rookies we've got now, of course it was three at the start of 2022, out of the, the four rookies that we've got, which is, of course, Gamble, Ash Hand, Dexter Patterson, and Will Powell, um, I could see George getting that win, not just because he's one of the best out of those four, it's because he's in the best car. Um, and that's not, and I'm not taking anything away from George. It was a phenomenal drive. Um, you know, give the best drivers the best cars, and they will perform to the best of their abilities. Um, and yeah, so George at Knock Hill was absolutely phenomenal, defended extremely well against Rory Butcher. He had Jake Hill, uh, Colin Turkington and Ash Sun all coming up behind him as well. So he had some big competitors and he stayed composed, he stayed cool and he of course achieved that first win. So, will he win the championship at Sicily? I don't think so. I do not see Sicily Motorsport being able to, being able to give him the competitive car to win the championship. Um, well, yes, of course, Sicily Motorsport do have the BMWs. I, I do think he'll will need to be in that WSI at West Surrey Racing or even a team like maybe Accelerate. Um, however, I think George is better off potentially going to BMW for the next few years, doing what Tom Oliphant did, going from Sicily to West Surrey at BMW and then achieving race wins, achieving more race wins, should I say, achieving more podiums, being more consistent and eventually becoming a champion. Now, who does he replace if he goes to BMW? Now, now this is just a what if. This is what if George Gamble leaves Sicily and goes to the works BMW team. Who does he replace? Well, Stephen Jelly probably won't. Um, I mean, there are, of course, 
some rumours that Stephen Jelly might not stay on at BMW beyond 2022. Um, however, he's been extremely loyal. He has been improving, improving, improving from his time at West Surrey Racing in, in the past two years. Of course, joined last year and or returned to BMW last year uh, and has won races. So, of course, Jelly has actually won a race this year. All three of the West Surrey guys have won races. Um, could he replace Colin Turkington, who, of course, we know is now in his 40s. So he is getting to that bit where he's probably not going to be as good as he was. Um, I say that whilst Turkington is currently leading the championship. But, uh, but yeah, you know, eventually someone at BMW is going to have to leave and make way for the younger generation or the new generation. And I do think it will be Jelly or Turkington to step aside at some point to let potentially Gamble or someone else come in. So, yeah, I, I'd say... Next year, if it happens, Turkington, Jake Hill, George Gamble in that in that West Surrey team, that is a championship winning lineup for the team championship and the manufacturer straight away. Uh, but that is just a what if. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think George Gamble is a future champion? And if so, do you think he could win a championship at Sicily Motorsport? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you are new around here, be sure to like this video, share with your mates as well because it does help my channel grow. And of course, press that red subscribe button to turn it grey, which means you will be subscribed. Also, if you do see that bell icon, be sure to give that a little click as well because it because then that does mean you will never miss any of my uploads thank you guys so much for watching and of course i will see you guys in the next one goodbye